televiewers, especially kids and parents, welcome to Ag Amazing TV. I am Sir Jesse Guzman and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Are you ready to explore the enchanting world of science? Now, let's go! The menstrual cycle is a curse monthly. It usually begins at the age of 10 or 13 and continues until they reach their 40s or 50s. The reproductive parts involves are ovary, fallopian tube, endometrium, or uterine wall cervix, and the vagina. On the average, it takes about 28 days to complete one menstrual cycle. For others, the cycle may range from 22 to 36 days. The menstrual cycle is the process that prepares a woman for pregnancy. This cycle repeats itself every 28 days on the average during the reproductive years of most women. Menstruation is referred to as a woman's monthly bleeding. When you menstruate, your body sheds the lining of the uterus called endometrium. The menstrual blood flows from the uterus through the small opening of the cervix and passes out of the body to the vagina. The menstrual period lasts from 3 to 5 days. So ngayon naman ay magpo-focus tayo sa phases of menstrual cycle. So we have four phases of the menstrual cycle. And this is the image. So, iisa-isay natin yan. So, ang una nating phases ay menstrual phase. So, kanina alam na natin na ang menstrual, ang ibig sabihin ng menstrual ay pagtudugo or bleeding. So, nangyayari ito from day 1 to day 5. 
It is the first day of menstrual cycle. It's the first day of menstruation that happens when fertilization is not happening. The uterine lining begins to break down and blood move with some uterine tissue and fertilized egg make their way out through the vagina. This is called menstrual flow. The flow lasts from 3 to 5 days. It marks the beginning of the next menstrual cycle. After niya na ma-reach ang menstrual cycle o after na magkaroon ng regla o menstruation, pupunta na tayo ngayon sa day 6 and ito na yung tinatawag nating phase 2. Sa phase 2, we have the follicular phase. Menstruation usually lasts for 5 days or some experiences up to 7 days as the menstruation is going on. A new egg is starting to mature within the ovary. The lining of the uterus becomes thin after menstruation. At this stage, also the refer period for the uterine lining and development period for the egg to mature in the ovary. So sa stage na to, dahil nga nawala na yung dugo, unti-unti siyang kumakapal ulit dito sa follicular phase. Just before the mid-cycle, the mature egg moves to the surface of the ovary. After na niya ma-reach ang pagkapal ng lining sa uterus, dadako na tayo ngayon sa next phase. Ang third phase niya ay ovulation phase. Anong ibig sabihin ng ovulation? So, nangyayari ito sa 11 to 18 days. At day 14, ovulation takes place. Ovulation occurs when the mature egg is released by the ovary. The egg cell travels along the oviduct and waits for sperm cell. This period is called ovulation. The mature egg then travel from the ovary to the fallopian tube as it goes to the uterus. Generally, the egg survives within 24 to 28 hours. At this stage, the process of fertilization may take place. Sa stage na to, dito lumalabas ang egg cell coming from the ovary para magiging tayo ng sperm cell. Sa last nating phase, which is the luteal phase, day 19 to 28, during this period, the uterus prepares for the possible fertilization and implantation by making the uterine lining grow and thicken. So dito, kapag nag, nagkaroon ng sperm cell at egg cell, nagkakaroon ng preparation sa uterine lining. The lining of the uterus called the endometrium becomes thick. Sa endometrium, kumakapal siya kapag nagsasanib na ang sperm at egg cell in preparation for the implantation of the fertilized egg. If fertilization takes place, the lining of the uterus stays in place. Likewise, no new egg are released. If the fertilization does not take place, Menstruation happens. So kapag ka walang nagmeet na sperm at saka egg cells, magkakaroon ng pagbibleed. Kaya nagkakaroon ng menstruation. The next menstrual cycle is then about to 
begin. In general, menstrual cycle happens within 28 days. Sa day 1 to 5, nagkakaroon ng menstruation or bleeding. Sa day 6 to 10 naman, after ng bleeding, nagkakaroon ng repair stage o kumakapal ang lining ng uterus after niyang mailabas sa vagina. Sa day 11 to 18 naman, nagkakaroon ng ovulation. Ibig sabihin, ang mature egg cell coming from the ovary ay lumalabas para magkantay ng sperm cell. Then, sa day 19 to 28, patuloy na kumakapal ang uterus. Kapag walang naantay na sperm cells, ito ay unti-unting hindi na fertilize kaya nagkakaroon ang menstruation at paulit-ulit lang ang cycle niya within 28 days. Ngayon naman ang ating pag-aaralan ay mga problems na nangyayari during menstruation. Tingnan mabuti ang nasa picture na fetus. Ito ay 5-month-old fetus. Nangyayari ito kapag hindi maganda ang menstrual cycle. Many women experience different problems during menstruation. These include menstrual pain, discomfort, tenderness of the breast, headache, irritability, and depression with no apparent cause. All of this refers to premenstrual stress or PMS. Meron pa tayong ibang problems kapag nagkakaroon ng menstrual period. Isa na dito ang dysmenorrhea. A few women experience civil menstrual cramps o pananakit ng puso. Aminorrhea naman, there are some women who experience irregular menstruation or lack of menstrual period unless pregnant. Let us generalize the topic. The menstrual cycle serves as the preparatory phase for possible pregnancy in females. This is also serves as the indicator on whether a female is fertile or not in a certain time of a month. Studying about menstrual cycle is very important because it is one of the changes that occur in a female's body during puberty. Having knowledge about menstruation also helps females manage their hygiene. How to take care of yourself when you have menstruation? Number one, keep track of your menstrual cycle to avoid problems concerning it. Number two, take a bath daily. Number three, apply feminine wash three times a day if needed. Number four, use sanitary napkin when needed. And number five, Change your underwear as often as needed. Let us have an activity direction. Identify the menstrual phase referred to each statement. So, kumuha kayo ng papel at saka ball pen at pipigyan ko kayo ng 5 seconds to answer. So, meron tayong mga phases dito. Luteal phase, ovulation phase, follicular phase, and menstrual phase. Yan ang ilalagay nyo sa blank space before the number. Number one. This space is the bleeding of force. Number two. Mature egg cells is released in the ovary. I will give you five seconds to answer. Okay, the correct answer for number one. The menstrual phase. So for number two, the ovulation phase. Very good. For number three, this is the first stage of 
the menstrual cycle. For number four, lining of the uterus becomes thicker. And for number five, it happens during day six to ten of menstrual cycle. The correct answer for number three, follicular stage. For number four, luteal phase. And for number five, follicular phase. Very good. How many of you were able to get an amazing score? That ends my discussion. I hope that you will learn something today. Again, this is Sir Jessica's man saying, Be an explorer, be a discoverer, be an amazing you. This is Agamazing TV. <laughs>